are people viewing this from TTG and people just viewing this in general, however you may have come across this video, if you recently purchased Metro Last Light and you have an AMD graphics card, you will automatically notice within the first five minutes that you are going to have an insane lag spike. And today I'll show you how to fix that. Didn't mean to do that. Anyway, so you want to go ahead and close Metro if you haven't already closed it and then hit the windows key type in percent app data percent enter go to the top here next to the name of your computer and click on app data go to local then go to 4a games it should be within like the top four files here in my case it's the second one now if you have metro 2033 installed then obviously don't click on it click on metro last light click on the 11 million file or whatever, click on that file, the only one, click on user, and then it should bring this up. Scroll down about halfway and you'll see something right here, ph underscore advanced physics, followed by a number, depending on your graphics card, in my case it was a 1, my friend's was a 2, go ahead and change that to a 0, then scroll down a little bit more, and then you're going to see r underscore api, followed by a number, mine was a 2, go ahead and change that to a zero and then a little uh, tip if you don't like the default FOV of the game which I don't you go ahead and change that right here I change it to 75, 75 seems to be like a good number you go to 70 at 75 you can kind of see where the arms cut off but I don't really mind that so just a little tip you go up here in a file save exit that out exit that out then go back into Steam and then just go ahead and open up Metro Last Light like you normally would. And I can't show you any gameplay because it's just going to lag like a bitch for me. Well, it's going to lag on the video. Um. Anyway, hope that helped you guys. So, see you guys uh, next time.